still rages. Shut up, lady! Shut your mouth! This was the last time they played at the WCT Championships in Dallas. It wasn't a happy day for Lendl, but the fact is that McEnroe was at his brilliant best, serving and bowling with his old, devastating precision. This is match point. Yeah! McEnroe went on to collect one of his three singles titles of this year. Now, Lendl says that he's here in Montreal to fine-tune his game for the U.S. Open, and yesterday he had to beat a determined Andre Agassi in a brilliantly played third set. McEnroe repeated his win over a feisty Jay Berger at the hard courts last Sunday, but again he had to claw his way to the win. Credit McEnroe, he's winning, but he's not yet at the top of his game. They've played 30 times before, each winning 15. From Montreal, McEnroe takes on Lendl for the Canadian national title and $143,000. No match here this afternoon for the Canadian Open Championship. Ivan Lendl, the number one seed, will take on John McEnroe, the number two seed from Montreal. There's a look at John McEnroe leading Ivan Lindell walking toward the stadium court here at the Jerry Tennis Stadium that used to be the home of the Expos baseball team. It is very cloudy outside or upstairs rather as these two players make their way to the court. And we took a look at the differences between these two players and came up with this. Fred? Well, we gave Lendl the, the serve, bit of a discussion about that one, certainly <laughs> McEnroe the volley. Ground strokes, we went for Lendl because of his expertise from the back of the court. The surface was also under discussion, and I think that was pretty even, but strategy to McEnroe, because for McEnroe to win today, he, everything has to work. He's going to be the man that's going to be doing the attacking. On the serve, just a quick note on that. For the week, Lendl has only served at 50%, and he's only had seven aces. That's very low for Yvonne Lendl. McEnroe's serve hasn't been that good either. He's 53% on the week, but he's had 19 aces. They have played each other, as we've already told you, 30 times in the past. Each one has won 15. It's interesting. It's not, kind of, not the same numbers that Chrissy and Martina played by any means, but... Uh, They've played a lot. You know, they're about the same age. McEnroe's 30, uh, Lendl is 29. McEnroe dominated. Uh, there was a time when everyone said Ivan Lendl is a bridesmaid. He just cannot win a major championship. They, they played that extraordinary French final when McEnroe was in control of the match. Lendl won it in five, and things turned around then. There it is, 15 to 15. Last time they played was in Dallas during the WCT finals there. McEnroe played brilliantly, won it indoors on carpet, the Reunion Arena. And again, that was, oh. I mean, McEnroe had been losing to Lendl. Of course, he went on hiatus from 1986. He'd missed almost a year of tennis, really, and didn't face him. But from 85 to 89, Lendl beat him four times. McEnroe had beaten him five straight times in 83 and 84. The biggest surge was Lendl's. He had beaten McEnroe seven times in a row from 1981 to 82. That's how things have been between the two of them in finals. The 84 one is the one I was talking about. That turned things around for Lendl in his career, not only against McEnroe, but just generally, because that was the first Grand Slam he won. Everybody was saying, I don't know if this guy can ever win a Grand Slam. Of course, that changed in a hurry after that win. And they played twice in the U.S. Open, and they split those. Sure. ...stadium in Montreal, Canada, a very hazy day, and I hope for your sake and ours that it doesn't come down with rain before this match is over because it promises to be really something. Look at that match record for both of these players. Uh, Lendl has only lost four. McEnroe has also only lost four. Lendl's played more tennis, as you can see. Great record in finals, good record on hard courts. And by the way, McEnroe has only lost to the top three players in the world, including Lendl, including Lendl once this year. You mentioned in the stand-up, I'm just interested to see if Ivan Lendl stays with the same tactics that he has used over the years by just trying to tee off the first few games.
Canadian Open has been very good to Ivan Lindel. He's been in eight finals and he's won it five times. Both these players have supported this event over the last decade. This is his ninth final appearance, Lindel's. Smackener has won it twice. He won it back to back in 84 and 85. Mackinac in trouble on this first serve game. Same thing, exact same thing happened to him yesterday against Jay Berger. First game. And it's exactly what, what he does not need, a yeah. slow start against Lendl. Well, he's put under pressure there because, again, he knows Lendl stepped around and whacked that forehand at love 15. John lucky to reach it and then couldn't control it. So he tries to go for a little bit extra on that second serve, knowing full well that Lendl's going to drive the ball at him coming into the net. Three break points. That's the one McEnroe used so well in Dallas. When he finally was able to beat Lendl, he took it right into his body. And by going into the body, you, you, can, you can then establish your wide and wide serves to either court. But first, you've got to make Lendl think that it could go right into his belly. Another one into the body. That's the one I like. I, I really think that's the way to play Lendl. Now, twice into the body, now John can swing out left, out wide. Traded wins this year. It was the Australian Open that Lendl won where he beat McEnroe on the way. It was in the quarterfinals in three sets, two tiebreakers. Got him. The number one seed has broken McEnroe in the first game of the match. 